Yeah. Yeah. I would like to know from Christian Prince, uh, if he finds it unholy to mention Allah's name before sex, why does the Bible God mention donkeys' penises in Ezekiel 23 in his own holy Bible? So can you please answer this question? And the microphone is free. We'll pause for us the verse, and I'm not the one who's speaking about the uh, uh, penis. It's your brother who's saying he cannot mention the name of Allah in the bathroom. I can mention the name of my God anywhere, because my God is with me anywhere. Not like your God. Your God, he cannot enter the bathroom. I enter the bathroom, Allah don't dare to enter. He's scared. Maybe he's scared from my, uh, I don't know. Your mic, uh, donkey penis, your mic. And by the way, as long as you are talking about donkey penis, can you explain to me why your prophet asking his donkey? First time a prophet of God is speaking to a donkey, asking him if you like females, why your prophet is so worried about his penis? Huh? Prophet of God is asking, a prophet of God having conversation with donkey. He asked him, do you like females? You're mine. No problem. First answer the question why your God was so fascinated with penises, he had to mention it in his own Bible in Ezekiel 23. You did not give me the verse. Pause the verse. And it doesn't say what you are saying. And we will see who is fascinating. It's your prophet who mentioned the penis everywhere. Even your prophet, he said, he will make your penis in this palm tree. Right? When you go to heaven, Mr. Uh, what is his name? Uh, 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 Jesus is Allah. He is saying that his God will make his penis in this palm tree and he will look like a palm tree. And now he's complaining about penis when everything is done is based on penis. Your mind. CP, read the verse. It's right in front of you. Ezekiel 23, 20, 21. There she lusted after him. This is not about donkeys and this is not about penis, you feel me? This is about the, those, the two tribes of Israel, who they are having relationship with those who they are the Babylon and the Egyptian. But because you are a filthy man like your prophet, what you can say is what the verse is saying. Read the verses before and read the verses after. And you will see it's speaking about two cities. There's an old sister and a younger sister. And they present the two tribes of Israel. Your mind. Yes, I understand the parable is explaining two cities, but why is the parable describing it in a sex manner, sir? That's basically Because they are having sexual relationship with the infidels. It's haram. If your sister, she want to marry someone, he is a Hindu. Allah is it halal in Islam? You mind? So, Christian Prince, you have no problem of God describing this sexual intercourse in this sort of manner, in a pornographic image. You have absolutely no problem in that. Because it's pornographic. Because it's what they are doing. You are committing sin, having sexual relationship with the foreigners. That's what it is. Now, as long as you have a problem with sexual relationship, why your Quran says that Allah will give you women in the heaven who no man, listen carefully, no man made them their vagina bleed or genie. That's the Quran says, وَلَمْ يَكْمُثَهُنَّ Allahu Akbar Christian what Prince, you got shattered by your own Bible. Christian Prince, come on man, this is a holy book of God and it mentions women lusting over gigantic penises. It's in your Bible. 
dotted again. Gigantic penis. <laughs> this is the Muslim penis. <coughs> Your prophet himself, he had a chapter in the Quran about his penis. <laughs> If a penis is a problem, why Allah, wait a he can't answer, he's going to the Qur'an. He's going to the Qur'an, he can't answer. Did Allah cut the penis out of God man? And did he send a dish of shish kebab to your prophet to make his penis stand hard? Yes or no? You're mine. Penis God. The God who sent the shish kebab dish for the penis of Muhammad. What is the problem? Allahu Akbar, you're recorded and you're going to YouTube. You're going to YouTube because you can't defend your own Bible. You can't defend your Bible. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The Muslims are going to love this. The Muslims, Allahu Akbar, are going to love this. You have been exposed, coward. You could not defend your own book, your pornographic, filthy book. Goodbye. He's not answering. 